Yo, what's going on, man? Welcome to the show, man. I'm your host, Trap Vision 3D, man, and I want to get right into it. Uh, I'm actually excited about today's show. I'm excited about this, man, for one reason. So for the next 10 minutes, man, I'm going to be talking about a number of watches from Invicta. But most importantly, uh, who caught that show last night on Shop HQ? And for those of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to leave a link to Shop HQ down in the description. Now, I know that there are big-time YouTubers with hundreds and thousands of uh, subscribers that love the Rolex. They love Orient. They love the higher-end Zenith. They love these high price watches. But do you know there's a category for Invicta people? And guess what? Invicta people in that category love being in that category. So pity is not needed. I just want to get that out there. Disclaimer, pity is not needed for the Invicta collectors. Uh, because I want to say this. Uh, last night I watched the show and it included the, the collectors. It included collectors. And I know this has been an age old discussion. Uh, and for those that don't know, there are there's a such thing as an Invicta Cruise. There were four in total. COVID knocked it out the box to where the last two years we didn't have one. There's not going to be one next year. Uh, at least there's not one scheduled or announced. But people that purchase and like Invicta are content. They're happy with it. And a lot of them have more than 10, more than 15, more than 40. Some in the thousands. Some are in the thousands. And if you are visiting this channel and you are like, wait a minute, hold up. People got a thousand Invicta pieces? What? Why would they do that? The same reason why I got my watch of the day on. All right, which is, yes, a Daytona clone. And let me just go ahead and take it out. Look, yes, a Daytona clone. It's a, oh, not a clone. Let me take that back. It is a homage to a Daytona, the Panda style dial. Uh, Daytona, I don't know what the price of a Daytona would go. I know because the market was inflated. But I know at one point, you're looking between twenty-seven to thirty something thousand dollars, thirty-six thousand. You know, I've actually worked with people that own Daytonas, and they wore them every once in a while. But I know one my, one of my old bosses had a Submariner. Loved the watch. Uh, white gold, pretty pretty nice. I do. I mean, I, it's it's a look. This is homage to it. You know what I'm saying? Pro diver. This right here has Swiss movement in it. It's a lot larger. It's a forty-seven millimeter, but his was a forty. Or 39.7 or whatever the case is He loved it for what it was And you know why he liked it so much I asked him I asked him He said why not Because the average man can't afford this watch he, That's what he said That's what he told me That's what he told me man And you know it got back to me that You know because I wore my victors on there And they was like They never said it to my face But they talked about me behind my back They're Like oh he, he rocking these victors We're going to have to get him, his game up But here's the deal Here's the deal I don't want my game on yours. My game is watches like this. Yo, this X-Wing. Shout out to my man, John Gang Gang. You know what I'm saying? My watches are like this. Shout out to my man, Vic, Magnum Vic. This watch right here, I can tell you right now, it's about 20 millimeters thick. Oh, yeah, look at that, man. Look at the pillars, man. Reminds you of like a bridge or something like that. It's just like, oh, constructor con. Things big, it's gaudy. Look at it, it's massive. Ooh. Yes, and I'm, I'm putting this out there because this watch, I remember Invicta used to sell these for like uh, $399 all the way up to like $1,400. Some came with the Salita 500. Some came with the Z60. Some came with the 5050Cs. Ronda movement, Swiss movement, you know. Um, now you can find these as low as $159 to $229. And I don't think that's a bad price for a watch that is it's heavy. But it's well crafted. And what I mean by well crafted, I mean the structure of this thing, man, is solid. Screw down crown, except for these pushers are not screwed down, just the crown. This has a flame fusion crystal, which means that it it's a mineral crystal that's coated with sapphire. Something that Invicta does, they've been doing it for a long time. I've actually tested it, uh, and it could take a lot. You can, you know, I've banged it and all kind of stuff. You got watches like this right here with the graffiti. Look at that date function at the bottom. This 8040N, this is another movement that's used by other watch companies outside of Invicta. This has a screw down crown. And this is fancy by the CEO. Screw down crown and screw down function pushers. 
But last night, these folks right here put on such a show. They, they invited the customers to upload their pictures and show a community. Now, Shop HQ is not QVC. Two different entities. Then you have Home Shopping Network. Three different entities. And all of them have their own characteristics. And everybody that comes and watches this, they fit into a category, right? You have watched it. Some of you have not, right? The thing about watch collecting and collecting Invicta that is not being said is the average person that makes around fifty to seventy thousand dollars, they may want if they want a Rolex, they are going to find a way to do it, right? They're going to save money. They're going to get get their credit together to get it. But for the other people that say, you know what, I love this. I love wearing these watches, man, and I can just. I can have like 50 watches if I want to. I can wear a watch for each outfit. My job is to tell you from what I've experienced whether this watch is worth it or not. I do have some Invicta pieces in my collection that I will never buy again. Never, ever, ever, ever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what watch I love? The AP uh, Turbion with the Black Panther. Some of you guys met that watch with such ugh, hate and disgust. But that watch costs more than my house, man. The first five, the first five was over, I think it was like $5 million, five mil. And that is amazing that there's time pieces that cost way more than that. That is amazing that you can buy that, whoever, whoever. And even if somebody was like, you know what? I'm sick of you talking about this Invicta stuff. I'm gonna send you a real watch, right? And you say, let's say somebody sent me a, a, a Submariner, $10,000 Submariner. Right or fourteen thousand dollars Samaritan. I've actually worn a uh, Samaritan, and and I will just tell you this: when I was in the army, I owned a Rolex. I had one before. I bought a Rolex before. Okay, so you know it was stolen from me. And the thing about it is, it's a headache for me. And then the maintenance costs on it, I'm not willing. I'm not willing. I just literally just got one of my watches repaired. Guess what? It cost me sixty bucks. For three, like 60 bucks for three watches. One of my Swiss made timepieces went out. I sent it to the shop. They said, hey, we got it done for you. 85 bucks. I can afford that. So that's what I want to convey to you is I told the title, said, watch this. I, I'm following suit with a little, I'm going a little, uh, the purpose of the show was to go a little more in depth because it was introduced you to the shop HQ stuff. But y'all, I'm reading these comments now. I see y'all down there in the comment section, man. And I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt that you guys, some of you guys are meaning to be, I'm not even going to call you no names because the only name I'm going to say is you are misguided. That's the title I'm going to give you. You want to insult and poke and pride. Do you think you're better than somebody else? Do you feel that your money is longer than, I mean, it could be. Your money could be, if you affording a longer, longer and APs, yeah, your money way longer than mine, man. Congratulations, you made it. Uh, you know what? Be blessed. Be thankful that you have the money to afford such luxuries. However, for the people that's here and you like it, Victor, love it. If you read the comments and you feel like, oh, I'm going to back off. Because I heard, I saw some of the comments. You said, hey, I was just like those other guys until I actually tried the Invicta. Put it on. Try it. Take it for a spin. I could tell you that a watch like this, the Master Calendar, look at that. That mirror, look at that. All that. Pretty nice watch. It's comfortable. This is Diablo. Is it big? Yes, it is. It's a big watch. I mean, this is a 45 millimeter. I got one for you guys that like smaller pieces, though. Yeah, right there. Jason Taylor. If you like Jason Taylor, if you like the Pro Diver, homage to the uh, Samaritan, this is a 40 millimeter. Let's have a battle. Let's have a battle. Let's have a battle between Invicta and whatever watches that you have that's non-Invicta. And let the people decide who is on top. Who has the better watches. You bring your crowd. I bring my crowd. Bring our crowds together, man. And hopefully at the end of this thing, I'm not expecting everybody to squash their beefs. And I'm not trying to converge you into an Invicta collector. I would love for you to, and I'll say this again, I would love for you to respect somebody else's opinions on what they want to wear. 
instead of the insulting comments that you guys drop. That is so crazy. You fighting over that? <laughs> over who wears what? Because I guarantee you there's somebody in the Victor. There's a number of people in the Victor clan that can probably put you on their payroll. Let me check that back. That can put you on their payroll. Because they got it like that. They, they, they roll in the dough. They just happen to wear a Victor. So let me know what y'all want to do. I'm game. Leave it down in the, uh, your comments down there. You can follow me over on Trap Vision 3D on Instagram if you want to inbox me over there and holler at me for real, for real. If you a non-Invicta collector, man, I respect you, man, all day, man. And I'm not going to let you come up on the platform and get torn out, man. And my mods, everybody here know how I feel about that, man. We play fair. If you don't know how to respect the person, the guests that come on the show, guess what? You silenced. That's just the way it is. Y'all know me. This this all this all love, man, and positivity as much as I possibly can. All right, family, I'm out of here, man. I'm about to uh, finish my walk, finish enjoying these watches, and uh, thank you for being here this long for this review. If you made it this far, man, during this uh not, re not review, this premiere, man, I salute you because you're a real one. If not, hey, you're still a real one, man. Just next time, let's this, this all. Get off the bus together, you know what I'm saying? You can't be getting in between stops because your stop was here. You were supposed to get off right here. <laughs> I was messing with y'all. All right, family, man. Much love. Peace, man. Y'all be blessed.